The COVID-19 virus has left countless seniors feeling isolated. Many are avoiding grocery stores over the virus. Their lifeline right now, Meals on Wheels. So in tonight's Rebound Detroit, we take a look at why the program is facing financial uncertainty, even as the country tries to rebound. Every morning in spaces like this across the country, there is an organized race against the clock. Thousands of meals are loaded into cars, D dispatched across cities, bound for senior citizens who need them, and the demand is growing. How bad has it gotten since the pandemic hit with people calling for help? We, we've had an unprecedented surge in demand. Uh, in in uh, 15 years I've been here, uh, never done more intakes in a one month time frame than we have done in the last month. Royce Pease is a driver for Meals on Wheels. The cold packs that go with the meal as well. As a college sophomore who suddenly found himself back home, Royce decided to step up for his community. This is helping a lot more people than like just me being sitting down playing video games all day. On this day, Royce and a small army of drivers were spread out across the city. Hi. Good morning. Going door to door, delivering meals to seniors who cannot leave their homes right now for fear of catching COVID. Seniors like Antonio Jones. It means a lot. It does. I mean, I got somebody that I can talk to. Before the epidemic, this branch of Meals on Wheels was delivering 8,000 meals a day to low-income families. Now they're delivering 12,000 meals a day. But here at home, along with the surge in demand, is a surge in people offering to help. It's everything from uh, uh, folks that are laid off, to folks that are retired, to folks doing it uh, on their lunch hour. Across the country, Meals on Wheels is willing to help anyone who truly cannot afford to eat. Many of the people that we serve are really on the cusp of not making it. And so if we can give them not only just a hot lunch and a sandwich, but you know, here's a, here's a box of prepackaged meals for you. Nationwide, the program mainly operates on donations. Funding is disappearing almost as fast as they can deliver meals. But as the country rebounds, programs like this will be more critical than ever. This is a good story. This is about America doing what it's supposed to do. So here's the rebound rundown. If you need help with food, there are several Meals on Wheels programs in our area. Each is under the area on Aging 1B. If you can volunteer by delivering or preparing meals, they need your help. Or you can donate monetarily to keep this vitally needed program going. I want you to know Steve Havernick from Oakland Meals on Wheels was almost in tears talking about how many people are stepping up to help people struggling to put food on the table. So there is great need, yes, but people helping people will see us through this. The Rebound Detroit is our commitment to stories that will help you navigate these uncertain times. Email us at rebounddetroit at wxyz.com with your story ideas on how your communities are stepping up in this crisis. We are all in this together and we will rise again.